Pre-med students seem to think the best way to get into med school is to major in a hard science, like bio or neuro, but I'm here to tell you why that's a huge mistake. College is an investment, so you have to be very careful with the degree you choose to make sure you're getting the proper return on your investment. If you put in $100,000 to get a degree, but that degree doesn't return you the same amount of money in just a few years, then it's probably not worth it. In this video, I'm going to explain why hard science majors don't have the best ROI and what better options there are that can still get you into med school and get you any other job in healthcare that you would want. Hey everybody, my name is Hisham Khan and welcome to Income Over Outcome, where I give you college, career, and of course, personal finance tips. Now, I know a lot of pre-med students struggle with choosing a major and they really just end up copying everybody else and majoring in biology or neuroscience, something similar to that. The hard truth is that over half of all pre-med students get rejected from every single med school they apply to. So they have to reapply or reevaluate if they really want to go through another eight years of schooling. That's when they realize that the problem with traditional pre-med majors like bio and neuroscience is that it's really hard to get a job with them right out of undergrad. I also know a bunch of people who realized they no longer wanted to go to med school two to three years into college. So they had to change their majors because they knew if they didn't, it would be really difficult to get a good job right out of undergrad with a degree in the hard sciences. So they had no choice but to spend more time and money on their degrees. Now that's not to say it's impossible to get a stable high income job with a degree in the hard sciences. You can get a good job with essentially any degree, but you're definitely going to have to work harder at getting the right experiences and marketing yourself. It's all about choosing a degree that increases your chances of success and also not boxing yourself into one career when you're just 18 years old. Your likes and dislikes are bound to change over the four years of undergrad. So it's best to choose a major that's really broad and can get you a bunch of different types of jobs. But the key is it has to be in high demand. That's what I mean when I say you should major in something that has a high ROI. If you spend money on a degree, knowing you have to spend more money to get a higher degree to solidify your chances of getting a job, well then that original degree doesn't have a very high ROI. Especially considering the fact that there are a bunch of undergrad majors out there that have really good ROIs right out of college and they can still allow you to get into grad school if you want to do that. I believe your undergrad major should be in something that can get you a really good job even if you don't plan on joining the workforce right after college. And of course, it should keep the doors open for you to go to med school or grad school if you still choose to do that. A common misconception is that med schools really want you to major in the hard sciences, but that couldn't be further from the truth. All they really want is for you to have taken all their med school prereqs like anatomy and physiology, have a high GPA with a solid MCAT score, show you have critical thinking skills, and have a solid passion for the healthcare industry. You can major in virtually anything you want if you fulfill those requirements. The perfect pre-med major should be something that's not too difficult so that you can keep a high GPA and it should teach you something about the healthcare industry. Lucky for you, I know a handful of majors that do exactly that and they can still allow you to get a really good high paying job right out of undergrad if you choose to never go to grad school. The first major is health information management. Now I may be a little biased because this is what I have my degree in, but I think this is the best degree for pre-med students. Not only do you learn exactly how the healthcare industry works, Works, which is something no bio class is going to teach you, but you also have to take a bunch of pre-med courses. I had to take classes in anatomy, physiology, and patho just to get into this major. And I totally could have gone to med school if I wanted to, but that was never my goal. Instead, I got hired at a really lucrative and impactful healthcare consulting job right out of undergrad. And I talk all about that in this video over here. If you want to go to med school, you should seriously consider getting a degree in health information management. It's going to help you stand out against all the other hard sciences major, and you're going to bring a lot of knowledge to the table that they don't have. The second option is healthcare administration. Now this is very similar to health information management, but it's a little bit more broad. 
Healthcare administration focuses more on the business and operational side of healthcare. So I don't think most of these programs require you to take med school prereqs, but you can easily add them to your schedule to create the perfect pre-med major for yourself. Healthcare administration allows you to work in essentially any area on the business side of healthcare. And it definitely shows med schools that you're passionate about the healthcare industry. It's also a great backup because you can have a real impact on the healthcare industry and it's very lucrative. A lot of doctors actually go into healthcare administration later on in their careers. Both health information management and healthcare administration are majors that really aren't too difficult. So you'll put in way less hours to studying than those kids with traditional pre-med majors. That also means it'll be way easier for you to keep up a higher GPA, which is something we all know med schools look at. I know a lot of pre-med majors also really like science, so they might be worried that these majors don't offer enough science courses, but I really don't think that's something you need to be afraid of, because you're going to be taking all the pre-med courses anyway, and that should be enough for your science fix. Another plus is that both of these majors will be extremely valuable to you if one day you choose to open up your own practice, because that involves a lot of business knowledge that doctors just don't have. A lot of doctors actually go on to get MBAs later on in their career, just so they can understand the business side of healthcare. But you won't have to do that if you major in healthcare administration or health information management. Now those aren't your only options. Like I said earlier, you can major in essentially anything you want as long as you fulfill those med school prereqs. Just make sure the degree has a high ROI. You can even do something like major in regular business and just get a minor in a healthcare related field, which is a great option if you're not completely sure you want to work in healthcare for the rest of your life. Getting any of the degrees I talked about in this video will make you a stronger candidate for med school because it's going to help you stand out against all those kids who majored in the hard sciences. Those degrees coupled with volunteering and working in a hospital while you're still in school, which is something you should be doing anyway, will really improve your chances of getting into med school the first time around. But who cares if you don't get in the first time? Your backup plan is still a really high paying job right out of undergrad. I hope you were able to learn that there are a bunch of different options out there for you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. I read all of your questions and comments, so be sure to leave them down below and come back on Tuesday for another video. But until then, take care.